Yeah. Wait, where are we going? She's so excited to eat them. She's getting ready to open. The Netherlands. Let's show them. Show them the peach. Lovely. Okay. So first we're going to try Stroop Waffles, which is... Uh, they're waffles with caramel filling. Uh-uh. They're delicious. Okay, well, I'm going to try them. She doesn't like caramel. She's weird. What's she even doing? Plus, plus I feel like... Uh-oh, he's sticking. got a hold of the TV remote. <clears throat> plus what? Plus, caramel's too sticky for this. Let me see if it's that kind of caramel. Some caramel's not. No, it's just soft caramel. Give, give, give the remote for me. Yeah, oh, man. That is good. Mm. That is really good. Yeah, Except there's so many crumbs. Yeah, it's very crummy. <laughs> it's crummy. You like okay. it? Mm hmm. That's good. Uh, you All right. Try it. Oh, that's a lot bigger than the one we have. Next, we have sour cream and onion potato chips. It says ridiculously creamy. Set it right there. I'm going to give Steven one and see if he wants it. Okay. Steven, you want one? Uh-uh. Hey, Nana, I'm going to give you one. Uh-uh. Oh, it is yummy. Are they good? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll try it. I can't wait to get one. It tastes like... A sour cream and an onion potato chip. Although it doesn't have a whole lot of flavoring. Mm-mm. It's very light flavoring. Uh, okay. And the one I've been waiting for. The one she's been waiting for. The candy cars. Juicy strawberry, mm. black currant, and cherry. They're like gummies that look like cars. I want to try. Here, what if we split this one? Okay. Oh, yeah. I think. I don't know what kind. Of, well, it might be a. Black currant since it's darker. Oh yeah, that's black currant. Oh, I like it. So then there's strawberry and cherry left over. Looks like we got a whole bunch of strawberry and one cherry and one black currant. I'm trying to clean up my mouth from the waffle. Mm. Wow, this is really chewy. It's taking a minute. Cherries. You don't? But I like cherry flavored stuff. Oh, okay. It's very difficult. Is that sushi? Hmm? Is that sushi? No. It's not sushi. It's Midwestern sushi. <gasps> Hi. Oh, that's a present. Well, let's put that back up. That's a present that's great. Okay. Thank you. I'm gonna put it here so it's okay. All right. Thank you. Uh, uh, is that a dinosaur in there, sir? Yeah. Yeah. I love you this much. Uh, oh, the TV's off. Did you turn it off? Yeah. Oh, Grampy did? Yeah. No, he didn't. You did. Yeah. You stinker. Yeah. Are these good? All right. Now what do we have? Mm. Sour watermelon candies. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy's face. He's pretty funny. Mm-hmm. Oh, there you go. I'm not no. sour now. What? You don't like sourness? I'm not funny. Uh-huh. You know who likes sour candy? Uh-huh. Grandpa. Yeah, yeah. Pretty. Oh, are you going to eat that bird? Um. Hold on, I'm gonna pause this and open these. Can you come cook this I up guess some food? It might be a little sour. I'm still opening Can mine. You cook this up some food? Oh, Steven's gonna make some food. Alright, here I'm gonna try this. It's like dual colored watermelon. It's soft. It doesn't taste sour to me. Oh, it's a little sour. There, it just hit me. That's not bad. Those chips are Apparently, 
Clara does not like sour. Ooh, is it I'm not used cookies? to it. Oh. Farm Grandpa would, though. Yeah. Because he eats, he eats, he's he likes the Sour Patch Kids. All right. Oh, okay. Next, we have aged Gouda Cheese Krispies. Crunchy, cheesy, authentic, and Dutch. I'm trying to get the sour out of my mouth. Okay. I want to have another bite of this. This is really good. Mm-hmm. The waffle with the caramel is good. These are two of them. Did you notice that? This is that. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, uh. Okay. It just tastes like a cracker. Uh, Does it taste like a cheese cracker? Yeah, but worse. But worse? Okay, hold on. That's my daddy. I still have watermelon in my mouth. They're very, it tastes like a Gouda flavored Cheez-It, but it's more, it's not as crisp as a Cheez-It. It breaks up easier. It's interesting. Okay. More gummies. What is this? This is soft licorice and fruit gummies. Red band gummies. Fruit and licorice make quite a juicy combo. Yeah, different kinds, different flavors. Yeah. Uh oh. Well, I know. Don't you try. tell me where. Okay. Okay. Then it's empty. Okay. Where is that again? It's just a notification. <laughs> We're gonna pause there. Okay. Well, that was a. She says it's a negative. Um, I think the licorice was okay. It's not super licorice-y. It's kind of mild. Okay, what's that? Sour violet candies. Never has a flower been so mouth-watering. So, like, violet, like the actual flower violet. Okay. Do you taste the sour yet? So I guess the Netherlands, people in the Netherlands like their sour stuff because that's the second sour thing they've had, huh? It tastes a lot of like the vi violet, wild violet jelly that Miss um, Karen made. No, it yeah. tastes like, um, you know that violet stuff that I don't like? Nope, I have no idea what you're There's talking about. There's some kind of violet thingy, and I don't like it, and that's what it tastes like. Well, okay. So you don't like it. But this one's better than that. Oh, okay. It's like they try to put that in. I have a feeling this is going to take a really long time to eat, so I'm going to put mine back in the wrapper. It's very hard to put back in the wrapper. That's okay. Just set it on the wrapper. Oh, wow. Okay. All right. So next we have chocolate covered crudnotten cookies, milk white and dark chocolate spice cookies is what they're called. That sounds somewhat promising. Oh my goodness. Grab them. They're chocolate. Get them off the floor before the dog does. So there's dark. There is white. And there are milk chocolate. So let's try this. Oh. It's got spice cookie in it. So it's like chocolate covered cookie. It tastes like a gingerbread man. Mm-hmm. There's a spice cookie. I kind of like it. What do you think? It tastes like the gingerbread karate. Gingerbread what? Karate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The gingerbread ninjas? Mm -hmm. Except for with more chocolate. I like them. 
We are on number nine. Mm -hmm. The big dada. Dutch spaculas. Coziest spice cookies ever. You decide. This is the number one cookie in the Netherlands. Number one cookie. Uh-huh. Oh, let me have one. Ooh. I think they're the windmill ones. But these are a lot darker. These are very yummy. Like whenever you chew it all the way, it's very. Mhm. Mm pretty good. Okay. Well, let's try the rest of the stuff first. What's this? This is hazelnut cream milk chocolate bar. It's Dutch cocoa. Plus rich hazelnut cream filling. It's a gold bar. Uh, we, have a gold bar. we have a gold bar. We can go to the chocolate factory. And buy tiny. Careful, careful. Chocolate. Don't drop it on the ground. They're very easy to chew. Okay. Um, I say that now, and that's very hard. Oh. Uh, <laughs> this is nuttier. The hazelnut is nuttier than usual. I kind of like it though. Kind of like it. Okay. Let's try the rest of the stuff first. Okay. Next is Dutch licorice bites. So apparently I'm going to be trying these and Claire is not. All right. Like chocolate? There we go. I was going to say there's the licorice. Throw it away. I think you just still have chocolate in your mouth from the chocolate bar. I do. <laughs> All right. One more thing to go. Now let me try. <laughs> well, don't eat it then. I'll eat them. I like them. They taste like licorice. But they're softer than like American licorice. All right. This is cheddar and raspberry cheese crispies. I feel like I feel like European licorice is a lot less dense than American licorice. And also Australian licorice. It's a lot less dense. Cheddar and raspberry cheese crispies. Sweet, savory, and absurdly addictive is what it says. Okay. It's kind of like those other Gouda crackers. Same consistency. We have chocolate. Your hand, Jimmy. Just hand it to me. No, you're gonna make a mess in the box. Please hand it to me. But the box would be a mess. All right, so we're gonna pause and we are going to rate these, and we shall be right back. All right. What was our favorite? My favorite was number ten. Favorite was number seven. Which ones were number 10 and number 7? Number 10, we ate all of them. Yeah, and that was the so hazel, very good. hazelnut chocolate bar. And my favorite was the violet sour candies, the sour violet candies, because it's like the violet made from the flower. And no, not that one. These. And they weren't really sour, but they were had a very nice flavor. Okay, what was the worst? My worst was number 12. That was the weird cheddar raspberry cheese crispies. They're just, 
meh. They're not great. Um, yeah, they're not great. It says, like, they're Guess addictive, I but I mouth. disagree. Guess what I have in my mouth? Uh, I have no idea. Oh, you have your violet one? It's good, isn't it? Okay, and then our weirdest... Number nine! Number six. My, what were they? Oh, I said the one... The gummies that were fruit flavored and licorice flavored at the same time, those were weird. And then my favorite. Uh, weirdest. That's just my favorite. Her spice cookies. She really liked them, but they she thought it was weird. They're not like a normal spice cookie. It's more of a almond cookie thing. But the spice cookie makes in. I don't know. Alright. So are you gonna say see you later? See you next time. Apparently, we're either going to go to Greece, Romania, or Bulgaria. We'll find out later.